Well, good morning, you guys. I had to get a few things this morning out here at the secret garden so I can finish up what I'm doing uh, back at the house. But while I was out here, I thought I'd let you peek at what's going on at the secret garden. So from my corn planting area here, now it's my melon patch. And you can see I've got several little sugar babies growing in here. I got the bees, birds and the bees. You see that big guy right there? He's pollinating some more for me. Here's his brother down here, working this one. But the melons do well here. Last year, I, it was crazy how many melons I had. So I've got, these are sugar babies, I believe. But we'll see, they may not be, they may be crimson. I don't know if you can see in there. There's two more hiding in there. They're all in there, and believe it or not, there is a couple of uh, sun golds planted in strategic locations. And right here, it's kind of chewed down right now, but it's hard to see. Let's see if I can get it to focus right in there. Right where this stake is, pretty close, I have a yellow pear tomato, and I'm just letting this go. This is getting wild, and I'm gonna let it do its thing. Because this time of year, there ain't no sense in messing around too much. But it's coming on along. And I have some other melons I'm going to add to it. Okay, and over here at the secret garden, I'm still getting squash. You can see the plants are good and healthy. It's hard to fish through there. We loaded up just before we took off. And have pretty much emptied out these guys, but now my okra is starting to get a little bit of size on them. I'm taking away a, a small sandwich bag, like a Ziploc bag size of okra every day. Now, while my squash is doing well, I'll tell you what's not been doing as well, and that's the zucchini. Now I have some still hanging on but it's really been having a hard time. This one especially, it's about done. There was one on it, yeah, there it is. I'm, I'm waiting for that guy to go and then we'll see what happens from there. I picked about eight or 10 cucumbers off this tiny little area right here yesterday and my wife is making bread and butter pickles out of them right now. So, that's still putting out pretty good. And as you can see, our temperatures in the mornings anyways are cooling down a little bit. And so I'm actually getting a little bit of flowers on some of my tomatoes. Now it looks terrible. The bush is not in the greatest shape, but you know, it's been going through 100 and something degree weather. And even though they're not very pretty, they're alive. So we'll see what happens. Got a few okra to pick before I run off. And, but you can see the clusters on them. They're, I mean, they're really starting to put out now. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Let's see here. Not seeing a bunch in there, but like I say, I raided this yesterday and got a, a bag full. Now, this just looks like some old Johnson grass or something here. But this is actually sugar cane. <clears throat> That's actually a grasshopper that gets on my nerves. But I do have some sugar cane making it. And I'll see if I can zoom in so you guys might can see here. Okay. Right. Let's see if I can put my finger right there. There's some little stubs. Look like somebody went through there and mowed the grass. That is also sugar cane that the deer have been eating. So that's their offering out there. I'm hoping they'll stay out of here. Now. Okay. As you can see, the one strawberry has now spread out one, two, three, four. I'm gonna have four strawberry plants there. My perpetual spinach is still getting chewed up real good. Look at this one. I mean those critters, but at least they're eating it and not some other things that I want right now. The cool season's coming, and that broccoli already went to seed. Okay, so it's doing good. If you look over there, let's see. I still do have one. Let's see if I can get a little closer. 
I have one last head of cabbage that might make. It's pretty small, but I'm hoping for one more head of cabbage. That was pretty cool that it even made during this hot summer. And right there is a little pepper plant that hasn't flowered yet, but it's coming. So, let me see over here. Okay, in this guy, these right here are Israeli melons. And they actually end up uh, looking more like a cantaloupe. They're really sweet and yummy. And when they get a little bit of size to them, they're going over in that other melon patch. And I'm excited about them because I'm gonna save seeds and plant more next year. There's another piece of sugar cane here growing up. That's what this is. This right here is a pepper plant. Uh, what do you call them little guys? Chili patine. Uh, my cousin who I work with, he really likes those guys. So I've got my mother-in-law started that plant for me and it's starting to flower a little bit. It looks a little hot and burn up, but so does everything else. So as these days start cooling down just a little bit, cause we're getting a little bit of a break, things are starting to flower and hopefully I'll get some stuff. So overall it's hanging in there. So I'll get back with you guys later on the secret garden as things progress. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys have a little peek see what's happening over here the pinto beans also i almost forgot to tell you about them i have a, a line of them along the fence line there and they're all eaten by the deer except for what's hiding under the cucumbers so if they make it to make beans i'll show you them next time we'll see you later